Hi, this is Sweet June. How's everybody doing today? Hoping everybody is... Uh, uh, today is Wednesday. Wednesday morning, just getting off work. Um, yeah, just getting off work. Um, uh, this video is not going to... Uh, I've just been just trying to see how many minutes I got. This video is not going to be that long. But I want to talk about uh, when I'm not really directing this towards, this is a message to uh, all young ladies out here, all the young ladies out here. Uh, I'm not directing this towards a specific person, but uh, this this is directed to all the young ladies, uh, the young single moms on YouTube. All the young ladies, uh, if you ladies out here, you have daughters. This is a good message for your daughters. Um, it's for the young ladies. I'm not going to direct it towards a specific person. But it's a message for the young ladies. Because I'm, um, I'm not going to say I'm old. <laughs> but I'm mature. I'm seasoned. I'm seasoned. Mature. Uh, lady, I'm not old yet, but I'm mature. Uh, I haven't been around the block a whole lot, but I've been around there at least a couple of times. <laughs> so I think I'm qualified to speak on some things, you know. Um, so, and I like to give the young ladies the words of wisdom on here. Um, because, uh, you know, when you're older and you're wiser, you then made your mistakes and bumped your head and everything throughout life. You learned your lessons. Now it's time for me to start teaching the younger ladies, schooling the young ladies on things because I made my mistakes. I bumped my head and I learned from those mistakes. And so... Now I'm older and I'm wiser. I'm older and I'm wiser. You know what they say? If you know better, you do better. So I like to give the young ladies good words of encouragement, good words of wisdom, something that they can think about, meditate on, marinate on, and Think about, and I know not nine times out of ten, you be trying to tell these young folks stuff. They don't be listening. You be trying to tell these young ladies things, and they don't be listening. Or young people, young people in general. I mean, it's not just young ladies, but young men. I be trying to tell my son stuff, and uh, particularly my young son, youngest son. He's kind of bullheaded, and so, um, you know, when you try to tell young people something, and you try to give them good words of wisdom and good advice. Uh, they don't, you know, it kind of goes through one ear and out the other. Now, a, a very a wise and smart young, young person would listen and then take that advice and apply it to their life. But that's, uh, that, uh, that young person would have to be an old soul. They would have to be an old soul and they would have to be a very wise young person to do that now there there mind you there is some out there there's some very wise young people out there that when you try when you tell them something they listen and they'll take that advice and apply it to their life you know uh so i mean there's there's young people out here that's wise like that but there's you're few and far between <laughs> anyway with that being said any anywho <laughs> i want to say um, some of the people that young ladies on YouTube, not just on YouTube, but uh, out here, um, in general, you know, um, I see them, um, doing certain things, and um, sometimes it's like watching a train wreck. I mean, I'm just gonna keep it 100. It's like watching a train wreck. You know, it's like because you. 
you done already, y'all say, I done already been there, done that. I know that it's not going to lead to nowhere. They gonna, it ain't going to lead to nothing but heart and heartache and pain and all that kind of stuff. And you know that being an older, wiser woman, I know that. So it's like watching them is like watching a train wreck. So with that being said, I know that when I when a woman, a young woman wants to get married, uh, whether she has kids or whether she's single. You got kids or you're single. Let's say you're single and you don't have any kids. You're a young lady. And you want to settle down and, and you get you want to get married. You want to find a nice man. Most young ladies or ladies in general, not just young ladies, ladies of all ages. Hey, heck, I'd still like to get married, you know, at my age, you know. Um, most ladies, I would say most ladies in general, um, want to get married. Most single ladies in general want to get married. You know, uh, if I could put a percentage on it, I would say, hmm, hmm, I would say 80%. I would say 80% of ladies of all ages, nine times out of 10, want to find a marriage mate and they want to get married it's only natural you know for a woman to want to get married you know find a good marriage mate and get married settle down but there's a saying out here that they have and i don't like to you know you guys i, I try to keep my channel clean and i don't like to use those type of language on my channel but there is a saying and it's say you can't turn a into a housewife. Now you guys know the rest of that. You guys know that that other word. I'm not gonna say that other word, but you guys know you can't turn up into a housewife. Everybody know that, okay? So um, when I was uh, younger, in my thirties, um, you know, when I was in my mid thirties, I decided to abstain. Um, and, um, initially, I was gonna abstain until I found the right man. Um, and then I started studying to become a Jehovah's witness and, um, term, you know, um, dedicated my life to, to serving God, decided to dedicate my life to serving God. And then once I did that, I said, well, I'm going to go on and go on that extra mile and just, you know, wait it on out until, um, my husband comes along. And it, it turned out to be the best decision that I ever made in my life. It turned out to be the wisest decision that I ever made in my life. The wisest decision and the best decision that I ever made in my life. And I don't regret it. I don't regret one minute of it. I don't regret one day of it. Um, I have no regrets. And the reason why I have no regrets is because I feel so good about myself. And as far as in that area, um, I feel good about myself. Um, I feel I have so much self-respect. I know my worth. Um, I've got so much clarity. Um, I, 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 it's, it's, it's like, it's worth your weight in gold. Once you learn your worth, it's worth its weight in gold. And typically when I can say, when a woman wants to get married, it's not a good idea to, and I knew that I wanted to find a marriage mate, but, but, um, well, I like to use the word fine. He's got to find me. Um, I knew that I wanted a marriage mate. And, and when a when a single woman, if you know that, then you got to, you want a good man. Well, okay, first you got to be a good woman. You, you have to work on you and you have to be a good woman first to attract. You have to attract what you want. You have to attract what you're looking for. Whatever it is that you're looking for, the qualities that you're looking for in a man, okay, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta work towards being that yourself, you know. And most of the time, a man of any substance, a man of any substance, if he has any kind of substance, um, a quality man, if you want, and and you want that in a marriage mate, you want a quality man. Um, most women want a God-fearing man 
and all those things. They want all those things. They don't want somebody that's ripping and running out here doing whatever. What woman want that? You know, you want a quality man. You want somebody that's that's going to respect you, a kind man that's going to be faithful, Christian values, God-fearing and all that. You want all that. Okay, if you want all those qualities in a man, okay, you got to be you got to work towards being that yourself. And in order to attract that kind of man, because a, a man that's of, of quality is not going to be with a woman that she's flit, flitting from one man to the next. If he's of quality and he's looking for a wife, and you got men out here that are looking for wives. They are looking for a wife, but they're not going to look at someone that's, if, if she seemed like she out there and she's flitting from one man to the next and she's doing this and that and the other, he's not going to, if any, now you can, you can get a man that, that, um, that, that he out there himself doing whatever, you know, but nine times out of 10, them type of men ain't going to be no good, you know? So yeah, you can, you might be able to pull one of them in, but mind you, if you want to get married, you want a quality man. You want a loving, God-fearing, you know, man with good qualities, has respect for himself, has respect for you. You want all that in a marriage mate. If you, okay, you want a man of these qualities, then you have to become that yourself. And then, um, he ain't going to be checking for you. If you out here flitting, flitting over here, flitting over there, doing this and doing that. I came to that realization myself. That was one of the reasons why I decided to abstain because I came to that realization myself that, okay, well, June, um, you know, you got to, you know, because nine times out of 10, not that I was out there like that because I wasn't out there like that, but nine times out of 10, if a, a quality man, if he's looking for a wife, he ain't, he ain't going to be checking for you if he feel like you, you're loose or you loose or you, you know, flitting, flitting all, all over the place, you know. He ain't going to be checking for you. He going he gonna to leave you where you at and he going to go find someone else that carries herself with respect, you know, has respect for herself. She loves herself. She knows her worth and all those things. So you're not going to get a quality mate. You're not going to, if you're looking for a marriage mate, you want a marriage mate, whether you got kids or you don't have kids. If you have children and you, know, you want someone that's going to be a good father figure for your children as well as a good husband for you. Well, um, first of all, it's going to be hard to get that. But even if you do, you got to, you got to, he's not going to be checking for you if you're out there doing this and that and the other. So you got to clean yourself up. You got to get yourself together. And learn your worth, carry yourself with respect, have a certain amount of, I know this, uh, this YouTube on here, YouTuber on here, her name is Chloe. You guys get a chance to check her out. She, she does a lot of videos talking about femininity and she does some, she has some excellent topics. I, I can binge watch her stuff. I mean, she's, she's, she, she has a, a, a wide range of top topics, but she likes to educate women on black women in particular on femininity being you know, having feminine qualities, carry, carrying yourself like a lady and fem, femininity. And and men can pick up, just like we can pick up certain things about men, men can pick up certain things about a woman, you know, and they know a quality woman when they see one, you know. they. I was telling my son the other day, I ain't putting his business out there, but, you know, he's, you know, he's, he's, he's interested in someone and he's like, mom, this could be wife wifey and I said you know and I told him I said they say a man knows his wife and so a man typically knows his wife if he sees a, some, a lot of times he sees a woman and and and, and if he and he liked the way she carrying herself and 
and and and she got she's she's displaying that femininity and she's carrying herself with respect and she's not she's not out here you know addressing provocatively you know um and loose and wild nine times out of ten that's that's she's not that type of woman she's she's carrying herself with dignity and respect and that's the type of women that they wife up. They wife up the women that carry themselves like ladies, thinning them. Um, you, you don't, and you don't have to be. Don't, uh, honey, don't get me wrong. You don't have to be the best looking woman in the world. You ain't got to be no Miss America. You know that's the biggest misconception. You 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 don't have to be no beauty queen. You don't have to be the most gorgeous looking woman in the world. But just the way you carry yourself. A lot of times a man will look at the way you carrying yourself and the way you, you dressing and the way you carry yourself and all that. Even if you're not dressed in, in a dress, but you're you're neat and you clean and you 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 they 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 pay attention to that stuff. And they can tell whether you got respect for yourself or not. If a man see that you don't have no respect for yourself and you're out, you're just out here doing this and that and the other with different guys, they can pick up on that. And if he's looking for a wife, a quality woman, he ain't going to check for you. You're not going to pull them kind of men in. And, and if you're looking for a marriage mate, then that's what you want. So you got to get yourself together and get yourself in line. Part of that means abstaining. Abstaining. Because I, I, I met a guy online and we talked for six months before I even let him come around my, my sons or whatever. I talked to him in six months on the phone. And I told him that I was abstaining, that I was going to abstain until... um. They, he wasn't gonna get no cookies until marriage, and and he still wanted to be with me. It just turns out he just wasn't the right guy for me, but he still wanted to be with me. He respect that. He had even more respect for me when I said that. So this thing that if you don't put out these, cause cause somebody the right man will wait for you. Because he figured, well, she ain't giving it to me. Then she ain't gonna she ain't giving it up to nobody else. If she not giving up to me, she ain't gonna give it up to nobody else. That's what they look at it. They respect that. The right man will respect that. Or the one that's truly interested in marrying a respectable woman and, and, and a woman of quality, a woman of substance. And he see that you have respect for yourself, then he's gonna respect you. A man of quality. So you can't be out here if you're looking for a marriage mate. A good quality marriage mate. You can't be out here flitting and flitting and all over the place, hooking up with this man, hooking up with that man, and doing this with that man, doing this with that man, because guess what? The good quality men are gonna miss you. They gon they gonna overlook you. And they gon they gon go to the, 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 the women's that is carrying herself like she's supposed to, like a lady, femininity with respect she got she's god fearing and all those good things because those are the type of women that they wife up the good quality men i'm talking about quality men i'm not talking about these these men out here doing whatever i'm talking about the good quality men and if and if you want to get married that's the kind of man you want so that's what they say you can't turn up into a housewife you can't you know that's the way that in men, that's that's not a woman saying, that's a man saying. Men say that. Women, that's not a woman saying. Men say that. Men say those things. They say it. So just food for thought, something for the young ladies to marinate on and think about. All young ladies, all ladies in general. Something to think about. I got to get in this house. I'm tired. I'm taking a nap. And then I got to get up and pay my bills later. Whenever this gets uploaded, you'll be getting it. 
Make sure if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell. Stay tuned. Peace and love. This is Sweet Jude.